Well, hello everybody. This is going to be the first of many weekly updates I'll be doing while I work on Turmoil 2022 for the Mattel Aquarius. The Kickstarter project is going awesome. We've already passed our goal and I do believe we're going to have a stretch goal soon. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but I'm going to have some space left in the ROM after Turmoil 2022 has been put in there. And I've got a little game that I've been tinkering with on the side that I think I'm going to put in there as like a little extra. So we shall see what happens with that. But that's going to be if we... If we can reach 2,000, that game will be in it. So, I want to show you today what Turmoil 2022 does. As you can see here, on the main screen when you first come on. It's slightly different than the ColecoVision version because we have more real estate to work with for one. Two, the ColecoVision allows you to edit the fonts and we all know we can't do that in, on the Aquarius. So I have to make do with the built-in graphic symbols which challenging at the same time are kind of fun to work with. And I have more room on the screen. I only had the 32 columns on the ColecoVision. I have 40 here, so I was able to spread it out and take a little bit more space up. So the main screen, just like in the ColecoVision, shows you all the various enemies you're going to have and how you're going to fight them. Then you would press 1 to start. That may say fire in the future. I am still debating on whether I'm going to make an overlay for the controllers because I do use all six of the keys there. In the game itself, one is fire and four is nuke. But in the, starting the game, you use one through six to select, as you see here. So it's like press one to start. And then after you press one, I'm talking over my video here. So if I'm not totally in sync, that's because I'm narrating after the fact. You press one, then you press which one you want to do here. I'm going to select Armageddon six because that shows all the baddies on the screen at the same time. So let's just go there, eventually. Well, first off, it tells you what it is. The horde is not holding anything back. Every weapon in their arsenal is being used to crush mankind. You will need to stop them or we will all die. Then you press 1 to start. And then you see here, I do not have collision detection set in yet. And I do not have, um, well, collision detection would take care of me running into things or they're running into the lasers. At this point right now, I am working on the character based sprites that I'm having to use and making sure they work correctly and the movements and the controls so that was just Armageddon it showed you all of the enemies going at once and I'm just going to jump into Recon over Rio this is the first one you can see a slightly different enemy pattern in here I'm going to also be working on the speed slowing down some speeding up others right now they're all running at the same speed that red screen there that's the nuke in, this, in the ColecoVision version, the whole screen turned gray. And this one, I'm taking advantage of that border color, and I'm going to make it red. And I'm going to show you another one, Outback Assault. This is another layout with various different baddies in here. And as you can see, it's, it's very smooth. For the limitation that the Aquarius has, the graphics are very smooth. And this is written all in 100% Z80 Assembler. So it's going to run as fast as possible. I'll be adding sound. I'm going to add sound for the base model, which just uses the internal sound chip, or this internal sound, just one tone. So the sounds will be limited there. But it will also take advantage of the Mini Expander's AY chip, and it will have a lot better sound going through that. It will require 16K minimum. That, well, the 16K is a requirement if you load the cassette version. If you're not loading the cassette version, if you're running off a cartridge, this will run on the bare minimum system. You don't even have to have any RAM expansion. But if you're going to load the cassette version, you need the 16K, at least. Depending on how big the stretch goal is. 16K. So there you go. Turmoil 2022 for the Mattel Aquarius, the first game from 8-Bit Millie Games on the Mattel which is a fun little computer to work on. I hope you'll consider supporting the Kickstarter project. I'll put a link in the description. Have a great day.